Hello everybody, welcome back to Manly Battleships. Today we're playing I Did Not Buy This Ticket, a game by Tiago Wreck. Wreck. Wretch. This game only came out a few weeks ago and is allegedly a short horror game about being a professional mourner going between funerals. So as you can imagine, it's right up my alley. Totally. Let's get started. Weep for the dead. Oh, it's action action. The tears well up in my eyes, distorting my vision. My name is Candelaria. Interesting. They come easily. Fat, salty, continuous tears. As if I had known the man lying in the coffin before me. This is the first time I have ever laid eyes on him. The tears run down my cheeks. They itch, but I resist the urge to rub my face. I know it's more dramatic to let them flow. My emotions, just for show. I'm in complete control. I always am. The deceased's son. Hey, we finished the burial. Everyone's gone home, so we should settle your payment now. That was quite the performance, I have to say. Ah, well, both of these seem a little bit big-headed considering we're a professional mourner at a funeral. Of course, it's also interesting because obviously professional mourners aren't exactly a thing for most Americans. In a lot of other cultures, they are, though, so I'm wondering if this is meant to be Another time, another place, where perhaps my answer won't seem like such a, like a dick move. Uh, tell all your friends about me. Ha 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 ha, you're joking, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, you understand that it's not such an easy service to advertise to people. A service that never runs out of clientele. I have a sense of humor. I'll do what I can. Anyway, here, the amount we agreed on over the phone. You seem like you want to say something. Ah, uh, no, I... Well, I do actually. It's silly to try and hide it from you. I was impressed with the realism, truly. You'd never seen my father before, and yet your mourning was more emotional than that of my relatives. He had a bad relationship with his fa- Eh, you know, no, we don't want to be that much of a dick. It's not too different from the work of a good actress. In a way, it's true, but it's not exactly the same thing. No, it's not. Actresses are paid better. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, of course. Before you go, let me ask you a question. I got curious about how you got into this. How you learned to weep so spontaneously. It's not a common profession, let's be frank. I just love this nearly psychedelic background stuff that's going on. Like, this is really drawing me in, actually. I like this. Yes, pause. Dramatic pause. All I can say is that life takes us down unexpected roads. That's just another way of not answering. Yes! Congratulations! You qualify for the Platinum card. You don't even know how you got here, do you? Myself, I wanted to be an artist. Yet here I am, in a suit and tie. Yes, that's generally what one does when one's relatives are deceased. Wearing my daily uniform to bury my father. Whose choice was that? Is that all? Oh. Yes, of course. Forgive me. Here's the money. Thank you. The envelope is nothing but an excuse. Can you live well off this? I mean, you would know better than I do. This isn't my day job. It's more of a... <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say hobby. Don't you dare say hobby. God damn it! Hobby, I would say. Hobby. Yes, like a side gig. You know, you probably posted this gig on Gigwalk. Unexpected answer? To say the least. I imagine this would take a toll on your spirit as a job. If you do it to pass the time, well, what do you mean? Most people don't go to so many funerals in such a short amount of time. It's an oppressive atmosphere, even if it's not your relatives. How do you deal with that? No one has ever asked me that. The questions help keep my mind off other things. Makes sense. Is there like eldritch horror that's going to be happening a little bit later? Because there's an awful lot of eyeballs involved here. So... Ah, yes. Ooh, phone vibrations. The question. I keep my distance professionally. Even with the death so close by, I believe what we bury is only a husk. The person is gone. Ah, uh, sorry. I think your cell phone is ringing. Yes, it is. As if I couldn't tell. I almost managed to ignore it this time. I don't need to look at it to know who's calling. At least, it interrupted the interrogation. Won't you get it? I like how 
Is this like a commentary on the illusion of choice? Like no matter what, I'm not gonna answer the phone? Or would these have changed if my answers earlier were somehow different? Who knows? The third one. No. I have another job scheduled, and it's far from here. I need to go now, so I won't be late. Of course, please. Once again, thank you. Oh, what lovely background art. The bus should be here already. This is going to be a long trip. Long enough to catch up on some sleep. I hope. That client's question gave me a headache. Again with the illusion of choice here. Where's the ticket? I should check my seat number. What's this? I can growl. Ticket number zero. With a little eyeball on the bus. I'm assuming that's my seat. I can growl line. I did not buy this ticket. Ho ho! We did it! We said the name of the game! Seat triple zero. Weird. Maybe an error in the system? Ah, the bus is here. Yes, because that is definitely a normal sound for a bus to make. What the hell is going on here? Hey, look, wingdings, everybody! Huh? This is the bus? Like something out of the 1970s. What? How strange. Looking at it makes my teeth chatter. What is this? I... I need to get to that funeral in the morning. Board. The. Bus. Hey, hi there. How you doing? Good evening, miss. Where are we headed on this dark night? I did not buy a ticket for this bus. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Yes, yes, that happens a lot here. Don't worry, the bus and I will take us where we need to go. Please take your seat. We'll be leaving shortly. This seems like a perfectly rational thing for me to do. Hello, all the red people. Oh. Okay, all the seats are numbered zero, zero, zero. I can see three empty seats. Okay. Well, all things considered, I think we'll sit in the middle. That gives us access to both the exits equally. There. In my seat once again, this bus is not like the others. Feels like I can't tune out here. That swap ticket. Well, I'm here now. That's that. The funeral starts early tomorrow. At least I have... The whole night to sleep. Until someone sits down next to me, anyway. Right. We should be off shortly. What a hard seat. But to be honest, I've traveled on worse. I could get used to this. Blink, blink, good night. Huh? Someone. Someone sat beside me. I knew it! Until someone sits down next to me, anyway. I'll ignore whoever it is. I'm not in the mood for talking. Hello? 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 It's no use, is it? If you don't mind, I'd like to be left alone. Right. One moment. Ah, much better. As I was saying, hee <laughs> hee, that won't be possible. I hate traveling alone, you know? That's why I'd like to talk during this long trip. And you look like someone who likes to talk. And I, <laughs> I love to listen. We are, <laughs> the perfect pair. Yes. Fine, what do you want to talk about? Well, uh, I have no idea. I'm not a very interesting person. So why don't we talk, <laughs> about you? For instance, this traveling alone thing isn't new to you, huh? Of course, it was a new thing once. <laughs> I can see it in your face. Keep a serious face, yeah. It's not. I've been traveling for alone for years. Of course. <laughs> but never as alone as you are now, right? You don't seem <laughs> comfortable here. Like a virgin laying in bed for the first time. <laughs> well, that's a little rude. Ah, that's it. You don't really have a place to go, huh? What do you mean? I feel no urgency in you. I mean, sure, <laughs> you want to go somewhere, only you don't need to. It feels different. 
I feel there's an interesting story there. Dramatic pause. Hey. Hey. Hey! Why don't you look at me? We could talk better. Okay. Is there something about my face that bothers you? Or something <laughs> in my words? Yes. Hey. Hey. Please stop. Hey. Leave me alone. I need to get out of here. Hello? Oh, does the bus have a bathroom? This is a fancy bus. What? What the hell was that? I don't even remember how I got here. Did I panic? This bus, why am I here? Am I already dead? Is that what's going on here? Have I figured out the game already? Oh, oh, look at me. I'm so pretty. Look at this face. I don't even recognize it anymore. What did it look like before? I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be seeing this. I'm not even supposed to be here today. I just want to reach my next job and not think about any of this anymore. It's empty. Everyone got off. We're at the bus station. How? When did we get here? Good morning, miss. I believe I managed to compensate for our tardiness after all. Look, the sun's rising. That's not my work. How long did I spend in that bathroom? I believe I heard some people complaining about someone hogging the bathroom. Was that you? Look, I... Maybe. Avoid doing that. It can lead to many problems during the ride. Right, of course. I'm sorry. Oh, the phone. The phone. Aren't you going to answer that, miss? Again with the illusion of choice. No, I'm in a hurry. Excuse me, miss. Just one more thing. The ticket, please. The, the what? The ticket. I... Oh, it's still with me. Here. This is usually handed to the conductor, but I can take it too in certain cases. Look, you seem nice. Let me give you some advice. When it's time to hand over the ticket here on this bus, always hand over the ticket. Hmm. Hand over the ticket. Just as expected, right? Don't forget it. That's your responsibility, not mine. Huh. Okay. Look, I gotta go. Thanks for driving. See you. And here we are again. 